next meeting of the evening. Uh, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty, and justice. Thank you. Please be seated. So we have a busy little agenda tonight. Uh, Robin, would you take the roll, please? We can see you, but we can't hear you, Harriet. I'm here. Yes, I'm definitely here. Thank you. Thank you. Here. Legislator Wolf uh, was tied up in the closing, I think, but he's going to try to make it on screen in a little while. Thank you. Okay, our first order of business is uh, the adoption of the minutes uh, from the Orangetown Public Forum, the Havistro Public Forum, the Stony Point Public Forum, Clarkstown, and Ramapo. That's June 8th, 9th, 21st, 29th, and 30th. Uh, these were take it, taken uh, by the stenographer and prepared for us, and, and you all have a hard copy of it. Uh, Legislator Yeager has joined us. Thank you. I didn't see you down there. I, I missed you. I missed you. I'll take a motion from Legislator Yeager, uh, a second from Legislator Hostein to adopt the minutes from the uh, town forums. We'll adopt all five of them. On the question, hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carries unanimously. Uh, we have a discussion item tonight, a summary of the comments and recommendations from the redistricting public forums, update and process for the timeline for redrawing district boundaries for the Rockland County Legislature to reflect the demographic changes and population shifts as determined by the 2020 U.S. Census. Uh, we've been busy, uh, and no one's been busier than, than uh, Robin Brooks, our committee clerk. Uh, we have uh, prepared for each and every legislator uh, both a hard copy and electronic copy of the minutes taken verbatim from the five town forums. There's copies of uh, the, the two presentations, the one prepared by the legislative staff uh, for the committee and the one prepared by our consultant, uh, Phil Chonigman from Geopolitical Strategies, uh, so that you have that in your packet. We also have, and I think you'll, you'll be, uh, hopefully be, be somewhat impressed by the amount of outreach that we've done. Uh, you have a folder that summary, says summary of outreach and there's copies of virtually everything uh, we've done to uh, to uh, reach out to the community to uh, make sure that they're aware of this process, that they're welcome to participate in this process, and they know how to do that. Uh, it, it's also incumbent upon each and every one of us on the legislature to use our own uh, channels of communication to uh, reach out to the community uh, uh, and to any uh, group that may, may uh, have a stake in this process and, and want to be heard. Uh, at each and every one of our meetings, I think it's important to note that although they weren't specifically invited, the League of Women Voters sent a represent, representative uh, to make sure that uh, they were monitoring the process as we move forward. Each legislator has been uh, contacted uh, either by staff, by Chairman uh, Co-Chairman Wolf, or Phil Chonigman himself uh, for the purpose of making appointments uh, to discuss your specific uh, interests and concerns and uh, how it may impact the district you currently represent or may represent in the future. Uh, if you haven't done that, done that, please make, make time to do that within the next week or two. Uh, Phil, Phil has been very uh, generous in making his uh, time available. To the best of my knowledge, uh, nine, le nine legislators have met specifically with, with uh, Phil on the, on the subject and one has met informally after meetings uh, does that sound about right, Phil? I, I think. And, and again, if you haven't, please make make time to. Uh, he has the resources to answer a lot of the questions that you may have that are specific to the communities of interest uh, throughout Rockland, uh, the demographics, uh, the census blocks, and election districts that make up uh, your the current districts, and uh, how they may be aligned in future districts. Uh, he, uh, he's also in his presentation. Uh, uh, 
each of the five, five town hall forums that we've had, gone through the details of the Voting Rights Act and the New York State law governing redistricting, uh, the five priorities that have been established by the state uh, for, for doing that and, and how they may affect uh, the outcomes of these districts. Alana, before we get too much further into, into the discussion tonight, uh, there's two things I wanted to mention. One, we, we invited uh, all of the elected officials to participate in this process by email and notification of this agenda. So we're going to treat them like we would department heads. And if they're here here to, to, to speak or for legislators to ask questions of, uh, we're going we're gonna to give them the opportunity. Uh, but Alana will explain that and explain um, how, we're, how we're being governed by uh, the emergency order. Thank you. Okay, right now we are still being governed by Governor Hochul's executive order, which allows us to meet and have elected officials participate remotely without those locations being open to the public and without any extraordinary circumstances. Um, the meeting has to be streamed live and members of the public have to be able to watch it. And then what happens is people in the public who are viewing both remotely and who are in the room in person have to be treated the same. We are not set up for taking public comments for members of the public in the virtual world at large. Therefore, what we've decided to do for the duration while we are streaming meetings is that there is no public comment in person at the meetings. Any public comment that anybody wishes to submit, either people virtually or people who are in the room, they should be submitting comments in writing or by email, and those emails would go to legclerk at co.rockland.ny.us. But anybody who is invited to the meeting specifically to discuss um, specific issues or referrals or discussions, they are in a different category from the members of the public. So that is why the elected officials or people who are being appointed or for whatever reason that are invited for specific referrals, they are allowed to speak at the meetings, whereas other general members of the public are not. I just wanted to make it clear that all members of the public, whether viewing in person or virtually, are being treated the same way and may submit their comments in writing or by email. Okay. Now, everyone should be aware that, that we are uh, live on, on the county's website. We have a landing page for the redistricting committee. It covers much of what I've already discussed. Uh, it, it, it identifies the committee members, uh, what redistricting is all about, uh, our meeting schedule, and when, when each, next, each of our next meetings will be. Uh, we're going to have new district maps at some time uh, in the not-too-distant future. There's an opportunity to comment. There's uh, links to the minutes from, from each of uh, the, the town forums, uh, and uh, you can also view, uh, view recordings uh, of uh, the meetings that we did have uh, at each of the towns. Uh, at this time, I want to thank, thank uh, all of the town supervisors and their staffs for making uh, that space available to us to uh, help in our task. Uh, Laura, I don't want to put you on the spot. Is there anything uh, that we're missing at, at, uh, from a media and outreach point of view uh, that, that I didn't cover that we should know about. Okay, thank you very much. Everything is up to date. So that covers that. Uh, I know in your packet, uh, from going back to the five town forums that we had, uh, legislators in your packet, there, there is a, a chart that lists each and, each and every one of the people that spoke at those meetings and just a bullet on on what uh, what they their concern was and uh, and, and the issue that they identified there. Uh, I want to thank Robin for doing that. It makes it makes it much easier than trying to sort through all of the minutes to find them all. I also mentioned that legislator James Foley, who is not a member of this committee, but has attended most of most, if not all of our meetings has just joined us. Um, oh, and, and the chairman of the legislature, the. the as, as legislator Hofstein would say, the not so honorable Jay Hood uh, has joined us. Uh, okay, uh, legislators, uh, questions, concerns, anything that uh, that you're, you're you think is missing or should be addressed at this point in time. Hearing that, regarding. Uh, we, we at these five town halls, we did have people speak. My un, my understanding last time we checked was we did not have any 
any emails uh, that were addressed to the legislature's special committee on the redistricting at all? No. Uh, the only thing that's been filed in paper form have, have been uh, legis or former legislator Lo Hogan's comments on a river on a Riverside uh, district, and uh, I believe. Uh, Leave someone from the League of Women Voters, Linda Burns, maybe had written comments one night that she may have left, which would be included in your your, your stenographic package. On the top row, anybody, anything? Well, get, um, you know, many people may not be aware of the size of the district that they're in, the changes that have been made. Uh, obviously, those people who have come to uh, the public meetings that you've been holding would know that, but uh, probably the majority of people have no idea at this point what their district uh, consists of. So I just wondered uh, what, you know, what the committee is thinking of of doing with regard to, with to making this known to those people who haven't taken the opportunity to attend any of the meetings. Well, one of the things we did, uh, Harriet, was uh, to uh, for this meeting specifically, where the recap would take place, is we uh, sent an email out to all of the elected officials in Rockland County. We even got a response back from uh, Assembly Speaker Estes' office. Uh, thank you for the notice. I, I do know that we have uh, one or more in the room tonight, so I think we, we we've begun that outreach. And and as I mentioned at the top of the meeting. Uh, Media channels are very different from when I started here, for sure. Uh, when, when I was uh, new to the legislature, the Journal News was still a daily newspaper covering Rockland County, sending reporters uh, to village, town, and county meetings, and then following up with stories the next day. Uh, the Journal News was still widely read in, in Rockland County. We had uh, a couple of weekly newspapers that similarly sent reporters to meetings to cover to cover the issues of the day. Uh, it's been a long time since we've seen any reporters in this chambers. So to the best of our ability to do so, we're using social media, uh, face, Facebook, Twitter, and others uh, to get the word out. Uh, it is uh, uh, featured on our, our, our website prominently. Uh, we do have press releases that have gone to all of the available media outlets uh, to indicate uh, where we were in the process, when our meetings were going to be held, where they could get information, and how they could uh, express their concerns. So we're, we're hopeful that, that that we are reaching out. Uh, clearly, clearly, people uh, are paying attention because again, uh, the League of Women Voters has had a represent representative at all of our town forums. It is incumbent upon not only these the legislators here tonight and and the elected officials uh, that we reached out to to let your constituents know that this process is is, is uh, ongoing, uh, that we have just a couple more months to address these issues, uh, and I'll go over that timeline in a minute. Uh, but I, I think we need to take it upon ourselves to to uh, aid and assist this process wherever we can. And I know that there, there are a lot of uh, elected officials in Rockland County that have extensive Facebook uh, and Twitter followings. Uh, I don't know about Snapchat, that's a little bit younger, uh, but, uh, we 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 need we need to do the best we can under the circumstances. I, I hope that answered your question. Yes, it does. Thank you, Michael. Okay. All right. So j just the remaining timeline. Uh, we have a resolution on on our agenda tonight to uh, set a date for a public hearing. Uh, it's our hope to set set two dates for public hearings. Uh, uh, we're required to comply with a, a new law, law, but we're going to do it anyway. Uh, and, and have two public hearings. Uh, we hope to set a, a date for a public hearing uh, uh, when we have maps. We should have maps next month and the first week in September. We're, we're setting the date next week, but we should have a public hearing uh, by the first, first, or, first or second week of uh, September. If, if, if we can get it in the beginning of August, we will. All right, Mr. Chairman, any, anything to add? Okay. Thanks everybody ready for the work they did because why don't you do that? Oh, okay. Why don't you, you can do that? that? Yeah. Um, I'm just looking at this package here that we've got and uh, it's just a, an amazing, amazing amount of work that went into it. I wanted to recognize Robin Brooks for uh, all her work on this. It's 
Uh, it really is impressive. So everybody can know exactly what happened from the beginning to now. Um, so I'm glad to see that tonight. And of course, I think it's important to thank Michael and Alden for you know chairing the committee and and holding all the meetings and and keeping this together throughout the the process. And uh, there's some process left, but we've done the good amount of work already. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting it finished. Thank you, Mike. Okay, thank you, Jay. And thanks go out to Lauren Calcaterra, Mary Salcedo, Al Alana Yeager, our council, Alejandra, Sylvia Exis, uh, as well, uh, Larry Tool, our clerk. Uh, did they miss anybody? The stenographers that are always here, we appreciate, and Phil Chonigman. Uh, we have in the audience, so we're, we're, we're hoping to get this done by, by November uh, in total, adopt the, adopt the maps and, uh, and, and new districts. And then uh, see where we land, so people can uh, run run for office next year. Uh, Phil, is there anything that you would want to add at this point in time? Is there anything you need? Uh, could you, could you uh, just let us know basically your availability to legislators uh, this week and next, uh, generally speaking? The gray button, the green light should come on. There we go. Um, basically, I am available as needed. I am on vacation next week, though. So th the rest of this week and then the week after next is for any in-person meetings you might uh, want to arrange with me uh, as far as the legislators go. And I'm still hoping to get uh, feedback from the, the general public. We're still open for comments. Uh, any any maps that people are presenting, anything along those lines, can be sent to the uh, email address that that you've you've publicized. And uh, I'd like to reemphasize that we're running out of time for me to be able to process any information that might be coming in from the public. So please send it in as early as possible. I want to make sure that those uh, comments are taken into consideration as the maps are being drafted. Okay. So legislators, please take take uh, Phil's schedule uh, under consideration as you make your plans. Uh, elected officials that may be listening or in the audience, uh, please please uh, get your comments to Phil as well. Uh, Department of Planning, uh, anything we need to know? You guys are in good good shape. You're waiting for Phil. Board of Elections, anything we need to know? Anything Phil needs to know? Nope, we're good. Okay, looks like we're good there. Uh, we have a sign in sheet for today. Thank you, James. Thank you. Okay. So, the first one on the sheet, and again, uh, we'll make an exception if these people want to speak, we'll treat them like. Uh, like department heads for the purposes of this meeting. Uh, Grant Valentine, a trustee from the village of Chestnut Ridge. Are you here to listen or is there something that we need to know, Grant? Nope. Okay. Pascal John Gillies is here from Senator Elijah Reichland Melnick's office. Is there anything that, that the Senator wants us to know? Okay. Uh, I, I think that covers the list. Uh, for the record, uh, just uh, legislator Aaron Weeder joined us. Uh, he wasn't here at the start of our meeting. Okay. I, I think that's it. Uh, as far as the discussion goes, uh, Lon, anything from the minority in particular? You're good? Okay. Aaron, uh, you stepped out of the room. This is your last chance to ask a question or make a statement on uh, the discussion. You're good? Okay, thank you. Okay, so there's, there's no vote required on this because it was just a discussion item. Uh, we'll go to referral number 6713, setting a date for a public hearing with respect to a local law amending Rockland County Code Chapter 5, local law of number 7 of 1985 as amended by local law number 15 of 1997, local law number 3 of 2002, local law number 1 of 2011, Chapter 101, local law number 1 of 1985 for the purposes of adopting a redistricting plan in compliance with the 2020 census with new district lines to take effect January 1st, 2023. I'll take a motion. 
Ruled by Legislator Yeager, seconded by Legislator Jobson. On the question, hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Opposed, carries unanimously. Uh, that completes our business for today. If there's anything else for the good of the cause, uh, take it up at this point. Um, is this Ms. Pascal, Pascal Jean Gilles? You're here for Senator Reichland Melnick. Is there anything the Senator wanted us to know at this point? Okay, thank you very much. Okay. And again, I'd like to thank our staff for all their hard work on this. We really appreciate uh, everything you've done. We've quite created a substantial record. And, and I, I got to tell you, I was very much uh, pleased and, su and surprised at, at how much outreach has been done on this effort because I know how difficult that part of our job is. Uh, so thank you for that, uh, Laura and Mary and company. Thank you, Michael, for yeah. leading this effort. It's not easy. Okay, so take a motion to adjourn from Legislator Paul, seconded by Legislator Soskin. On the question, all in favor say aye. Opposed, aye. carries unanimously. We're adjourned. Thank you, Lynn. You meant to have it done by November, right? You meant to have it done by September? September, October. Did I say November? Yes.